So let's look at this question. Um, we're going to solve this. We can solve this. There's two basic methods, but let's, let's use what's called the substitution method. Well, the first step to the substitution method is to choose a variable with a coefficient of 1 or minus 1, if there is one. You notice here the coefficient is 3, there it's 1, there it's 2, and there it's 2. So let's, let's solve for this variable right here. So what we want to do is we want to take this equation, 3x plus y is equal to 1, and solve for y. So you subtract 3x from both sides. You get y is equal to 1 minus 3x. And then there's nothing more you can do there. So let's just circle that. Now, after we solve for y, what we want to do in one equation, we want to plug it into the other equation. So let's write, so if we call this step one, step two, let's write down the other equation, 2x plus 2y is equal to minus 6. And wherever there's a y, let's plug in 1 minus 3x. So we have 2x plus 2, and let's plug in 1 minus 3x is equal to minus 6. And now let's solve this. This is just like the problems that we did in chapter 1. We have one equation with one variable, so we want to distribute the 2. And you want to be very careful here. 2x plus 2 minus 6x is equal to minus 6. Now let's solve this. I'm going to rewrite it up here. 2x plus 2 minus 6x minus is equal to minus 6. Let's combine like terms. So that's minus 4x plus 2 is minus 6. Let's move the 2 to the other side. And you have minus 4x is equal to minus 4. And then let's divide both sides by a minus 4. And you get x is equal to minus 4 over 4 or minus 1. And this is actually part of your final answer. So if the step 1 is to solve for one variable in one of the equations, step 2 is to use your answer from step 1 and plug it into the other equation, then step 3 would be to take that answer and plug it into which equation? It turns out it doesn't matter. You can plug it into this equation, either the first two or the, the problem at the end of step one. So then in step three, let's plug in y is equal to 1 minus 3x. x is minus 1, so if y is equal to 1 minus 3 times minus 1, or y is equal to 1 plus 4, or y is equal to 5. And that's going to be your answer as long as we didn't make a mistake. So the question is then is how do we check it? Well, the way we check it is we take these two answers, x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 5, and let's plug it into the original equation. So typically the way we'd write this, x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 5, we write it as an ordered pair, minus 1, comma 5, where the first part, number is going to be the x value and the second one the y value. To check it, we're going to plug this into both equations. So you have 3 times minus 1. Why minus 1? Because we're plugging the x in where the x goes. Plus 5 is equal to 1. That's minus 3 plus 5 is equal to 1. Which is 2 is equal to 1. Seems like I made a mistake.